What's up guys, it's going to be Moto Vlog 17. Uh, just got done with another class through Nissan Technical Training. And we got out a little early, so it's been raining for a day or so. It rained all day yesterday. It's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. It's supposed to rain all day after that. So I figured some free time, we're doing a Moto Vlog. Um, I'm going to test this my kit speed uh, with all the vents open like I did before I don't I don't think there's gonna be a problem uh, it's a really quiet helmet so we are out running some errands um, getting some stuff because I am converting the Donna to a chain drive uh, I got kind of jealous one of my buddies that is known to do a lot of burnouts on his road king uh, he actually destroyed, well not him, somebody else, a girl, destroyed uh, his belt. So he said, screw it, uh, I'm going chain drive, ordered the kid, and they, within a couple days had everything done. So in the middle of that, I decided, you know what, screw it, we're doing, finally doing it to the Donna. So who I went with was uh, TMF Cycles. And they have a kit with the chain and the bolts and the sprockets and everything we need to do it. The only thing I needed to get was fluid and and a gasket set. So now uh, we're waiting on that stuff to arrive. It should be here in the next day or so. Of course, I'm going to film that one. I'm going to try to be a little bit more detailed on what it takes. Um, I don't think I'm going to give like bolt sizes and socket sizes and all that stuff if if you can't figure that out you shouldn't be doing that type of job anyways so so yeah i'm super excited about that i i went with a crazy ratio um did some math did some math on the ratio and decided to go with a 24 front sprocket and a 60 rear um, the reason I did that is I wanted to go kind of crazy in the rear and see if I liked it I don't cruise at highway speeds with this thing very much for extended periods but um, the, the math came out to with the 60 with the 6 speed it was right at 3200 3300 rpms at 80 miles an hour in six gear so i just tested it and in fifth gear it was cruising at 3500 rpm so i think i'll be fine to cruise about 80 anything higher than that uh you know you're screaming the motor you got to think a lot of the a lot of the five speed bikes uh actually kept rpms like that while cruising to to, to get the oil flow in these twin cams uh moving around so you know it'd keep it cool at those cruising speeds so i don't think it's going to be a problem but we'll see and and if i have to go back uh all i have to do is change that rear sprocket so super excited about that we'll shoot a detailed video on that one um there's there's quite a few out there i think track or die one's really really good uh, of course you need a big giant special socket for the main shaft nut and it can be a pain but i have my big milwaukee half inch uh impact so we'll see if that guy will take it out as well so but yeah super stoked uh almost at 300 man uh big shout out to john's motor garage uh for featuring me in his video um big shout out to donna demos for always helping me as far as social media goes and if you guys haven't hit me up on instagram uh, send me a follow. I'll send you a follow back. And I think we're going to call it quits for that one. Um, look out for that. Look out for that video. It will be after this one. Hopefully I'll shoot it in the next couple days and get it upload it and we don't run into any problems you know how that goes with working on stuff sometimes you run into problems but as always guys hit like hit subscribe comment 
Let me know what you think about the chain conversion and the ratio that I went with. And we'll see you guys on the next.